the world around it is forever changing. Over the last 105 years, Rotary has aged and adapted to its new surroundings and taken on a very new complexion, very different from when it was created. Neither Rotary nor the world is the same that they were in 1905, 1955, or even 2005. In such a changing environment, the questions we have faced today are, has Rotary reached its prime? Is Rotary at risk of dying? Declining membership in our existing Rotary Clubs, and more specifically, falling retention rates, are problems we must address both locally and as a global organization. These membership trends are concerns to many Rotarians, as evidenced by comments in magazines, newspapers, newsletters, and postings on the internet Rotary blogs. Let me read three of them for you that I think represent our membership concerns. A Rotarian stated, we take individuals into our clubs, good, new, potentially active members, and think that we are increasing our membership. But unless we motivate them, unless we engage them in challenging programs, it is inevitable that many of these members will quietly drop out. Another Rotarian comments, the age level of Rotarians has crept up. Each year, on average, Rotary loses 10% of its membership. In order to offset these losses and strengthen our clubs, we need to bring in thousands of good high-quality, younger Rotarians so as to create a better age balance. And lastly, a Rotarian writes, many people have entered Rotary in the past not knowing the true meaning of the organization. As a result, many Rotary clubs have weakened themselves by the admission of new members who have not become educated as to Rotary. Now, I think you would agree with me that these three Rotarians have captured the essence of the challenges that we face in Rotary today. Now, I probably need to credit the authors of these very timely commentaries. The first Rotarian, speaking about retention, was past RI President Clem Renoff, addressing the 1978 convention in Tokyo. The second, with his thoughts on the need for younger Rotarians, was past President James Conway at the Honolulu, Hawaii convention in 1969. And lastly, concerning better educating our new members, past President Everett Hill Edinburgh, Scotland, 1921, 16 years after the birth of Rotary. After hearing the words of these three past RI presidents with their comments dating back some 90 years, it should be obvious to all of us that the concerns being faced today are hardly new. However, with that being said, our need to aggressively diminish them is not taken for naught. It's an extraordinary organization of men and women who've made an investment in our community. It's professions and peoples com coming together, feeling friendship, and out of that, going out into the world doing good things. There's just a feeling of uh, being in a, a room with a lot of friends. It's about how people communicate, people helping each other, how people grow together, and how we'll 
people serve together. Rotary for me served as a way not only to, to get involved with other people outside my business and, and my family, but also serves as a way to, to be able to start to give back to the community. A kind word, just a kind gesture, just like 10 minutes of your time really changed somebody's, somebody's life. Rotary and community, um, it's like peanut butter and jelly. You know, they just go together real nicely. It gives you joy. It gives you satisfaction. Most of the good things you do comes back to you several fold. Rotary is able to reach the younger members and really continue to tell the story. And I think that's how we'll stay vibrant and, and valid for the next 20, 50, 100 years. It only takes one member to come up with one great project, but it takes a club to put it all together. Some of those projects include the CSI Fitness Trail, Centennial Park, Roy Raymond Pavilion, Jazz in the Canyon, and Death by Chocolate. Funds raised help support Salvation Army, YMCA, Southern Idaho Learning Center, United Way, La Posada, Magic Valley Symphony, and many more. Rotary clubs across America and the world are looking for new members. Here's what some of our members say about why they joined Rotary. Well, I've, I've always viewed Rotary as being uh, the group of movers and shakers in our community. Before Rotary is, is uh, I think, the best of the best. Uh, I like what they do internationally and locally, and it's a good camaraderie amongst uh, people uh, in, in local communities. It's just nice to get together once a week. I think there's a, I think people join Rotary for all kinds of reasons. Um, certainly making this community a great place to live is one of them and I think Rotary is really instrumental in that. So I would, the kinds of folks that I would want to see get more involved in Rotary are folks who really want to help make this community as, as best as it can be. I like the enjoyment and interaction with the other uh, members of the community. Uh, wonderful people, wonderful business people. Rotary has great lofty ideals that I think are very important in today's world and I think it's important for us to belong to an organization that has those ideals. It's been a great organization, a great networking opportunity. Uh, got to meet a lot of like-minded people in the neighborhood, uh, uh, in the community, and uh, it's uh, been a, a great benefit. I've got a chance to give back to the community and it's uh, it's a, it's a tree that's bearing fruit for years to come. My expectations were a couple. One is I wanted to get into society, into the business world in Twin Falls, because I was born and raised here, but I'd been gone for 20 years. And um, I knew that a lot of the business leaders were in Rotary, and I thought that was the quickest and easiest way for me to get involved. I know that Rotary also is, is a great way to get to meet people, especially when you're new to the community, like I was. Um, I moved here in January 2007. I was a Rotary member by April, and Rotary was helpful for me, helpful for me to really meet folks and get to understand what this community is all about. Well, I, uh, I think it would be a, a personal advantage to them to re realize what a great organization it is, and the people that they meet in their different vocations. It is the world's largest, biggest uh, service organization. Rotary is 1.2 million members strong and um, when you have an idea and you want to support a group of people or an individual, there'll always be somebody in Rotary who will join you in, in your quest. I have found Rotary to be filled with people who are engaged and interested in a diverse array of subjects and people. It's, it's love. Uh, you gotta love people. You, you, you gotta love service. You, you have to love this great organization. I've never met a Rotarian that uh, I didn't get that feeling from. Rotary is service, and you don't come to Rotary to get something out of it. You come to Rotary to put something into it. And once you've put something into it, you will get something out of it, but it won't be what you expect. It'll be better. One of the best things that ever happened to our club, after we did the fitness trail and we did the uh, Canyon Crest, or I don't mean the Canyon Crest, the uh, 
spent Centennial Park in mem memory of Roy Raymond is the best thing we did in my mind and that happened to this club is when we allowed women to become members of our club. <laughs> Kudos to all you gals because I think you really, things really started to happen after women came into the club. And at the same time improve lives of people who are throughout the world, whether it's getting a uh, their kids immunized for polio, or maybe they are recipients of one of these projects where we provide clean drinking water or, uh, or training for people so that they can improve their education for themselves. Uh, you know, so I, I really feel like that's a great vision, and that's really what's uh, got me and kept me interested in Rotary. Uh, of course, all of you, I've enjoyed getting to know and look forward to meeting the rest of you. Uh, who I haven't known. Hopefully it won't take 10 years, uh, maybe a little sooner. But I uh, just want to thank everyone for having me in, in your club. And, and if you are here thinking of joining Rotary, please do. Give it a shot and you'll really enjoy, uh, enjoy the fellowship here and the service that you'll be able to give. Um, this is a group of people that really cares about things. Um, it's a very important part of the people's lives in this club and from raising money with polio research to helping all the local charities through the money we raise through events like Death by Chocolate to even the little third graders who get really excited about dictionaries. So I, it's cool that we are able to do all of those kind of service oriented things. I know we're accomplished. Students and members of the Rotary Club spend about two and a half hours on the project and when the day's done they'll have over a mile of trail finished. It's been fun to see how hard they work. It, they've really put in uh, some, some uh, a tough couple of hours, and I think they're going to feel awfully good about what they did today, too. That is indeed the case for these two students. I like giving, uh, giving to my community because all, all the hard work they do for us. It makes me happy because the community does so much to help people in Twin Falls live good lives and to give back really means a lot to me. A project that gives back but also builds a strong sense of community in tomorrow's leaders. Amy Burnett, KMVT News. My generation and after will, will probably not find it as attractive to be part of a, our club if we don't change the way the our club has been operating. I think for Rotary to continue to be relevant, we need to be diverse. We have had to uh, apply some social media. We have had to use technology more effectively. Young people are high on networking. They may not always be looking for the value that they can add to a room, but they're oftentimes looking for the value that they can be receiving from a room. Keep programming that uh, is fresh, that's interesting, and to have service projects that people can understand and, and wrap their arms around and really get excited about. Rotary offers a lot of different things to you know, younger people and new generations that are coming in. And the most important that I think is the opportunity to serve. What I really want to do is actually be hands-on. For the younger members to realize that what they do in our local community benefits the whole world, it's a picture and it's a story. And they become a part of that story. The pa my passion lies in Rotary uh, with the things we do with the community. I'm part of something much bigger than myself by coming to Rotary. Um, I can't even, I'm like a little speck in this huge painting. And I can't even begin to wrap my head around everything that Rotary does still um, because I am so brand new. But it's really cool to be a part of a group that cares so much about giving back to this community. And I can't replace that with anything else in the community. What is Rotary? We're a network of people like you. In fact, we're the original social network. More than one million of us live just about everywhere you can think of. And we mean everywhere. We get together to exchange ideas, grow our businesses, and make new friends. We volunteer to help our own communities or someone else's. We're right around the corner. Come join us. The name is Rotary. Rotary International. You're welcome.